Picture this, a world where the very essence of our humanity is subtly inscribed with a mark, a mark that influences our choices, our connections, and our very souls. The signs may not be as overt as we imagine. Instead, they lurk in the shadows of our digital age, quietly shaping the fabric of our lives. Are we unwittingly becoming part of a grand design, or do we hold the power to break free from the unseen chains that bind us? As the year progresses, let us remain grounded in our faith, drawing strength from the timeless teachings that guide us toward righteousness and compassion. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 provides a fitting exhortation. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. In the midst of our fast-paced and ever-changing world, a mysterious and ominous phenomenon is said to be unfolding right before our eyes. The year 2024 carries with it whispers of an impending revelation, one that has been foretold in ancient texts and prophecies. As we stand on the precipice of a new era, it is crucial that we open our spiritual eyes to the signs and symbols surrounding us. The urgency of this revelation cannot be overstated, for it is believed by some that 666 individuals are already receiving the mark of the beast, leading us down a perilous path. The sooner we realize the gravity of this situation, the better equipped we will be to face the challenges that lie ahead. Awakening to the prophecy, the concept of the Antichrist, and the mark of the beast has long been a topic of fascination and fear, deeply rooted in religious teachings and apocalyptic visions. The book of Revelation, the final book of the Bible, speaks of a time when an entity known as the Antichrist will rise to power, wielding influence over humanity and leading many astray. The number 666 is often associated with this ominous figure, serving as a symbol of both mystery and malevolence. Revelation chapter 13 verses 16. 18 warns us with these words. It also forced all people, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads, so that they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark, which is the name of the number of its name. This calls for wisdom. Let the one who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 666. Indirectly marked, the subtle encroachment. As we navigate the complexities of the modern world, it's essential to recognize that the mark of the beast may not manifest in the overt and dramatic fashion we might expect. Rather, it could be a subtle, indirect marking, a metaphorical branding that influences our thoughts, actions, and allegiances. Consider the pervasive influence of technology, which has become an integral part of our daily lives. The constant connectivity and information flow may be inadvertently leading us down a path where our values, beliefs, and autonomy are compromised. The subtle erosion of privacy and individuality could be seen as a modern manifestation of the mark of the beast, a system that gradually infiltrates our lives without us fully comprehending the consequences. The urgency of awakening. The urgency of this message lies not in stoking fear, but in encouraging a collective awakening. It is a call to reflect on our choices, embrace wisdom, and question the forces that shape our beliefs and actions. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 implores us. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom. That wisdom, though it cost all you have, get understanding. As we stand at the crossroads of prophecy and reality, 
let us heed the warnings embedded in ancient scriptures. The mark of the beast, whether metaphorical or literal, challenges us to remain vigilant, discerning, and true to our core values. It is a wake-up call to reclaim our individuality, resist conformity, and stand firm against any force that threatens to compromise our spiritual integrity. Embracing a higher purpose. As we unravel the layers of this enigmatic prophecy, it is paramount that we focus not only on the perceived threats, but also on the opportunity for spiritual growth and collective awakening. Rather than succumbing to fear, let us channel our energies into understanding our higher purpose and strengthening our connection with the divine. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 provides a source of inspiration in these challenging times. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. This verse reminds us that no matter the trials we face, we have the inner strength to overcome when rooted in faith and guided by a higher purpose. Individual responsibility and collective action. The unfolding events of 2024 are a call for individual responsibility and collective action. Each of us plays a role in shaping the trajectory of our world. And it is through united efforts that we can counter any malevolent force seeking to compromise our values. Galatians chapter 6 verse 2 emphasizes the importance of bearing one another's burdens. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ by fostering empathy, understanding, and unity. We create a formidable defense against the subtle encroachments that may lead us astray. Remaining grounded in faith as the year progresses, let us remain grounded in our faith, drawing strength from the timeless teachings that guide us toward righteousness and compassion. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 provides a fitting exhortation. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. This armor comprises virtues such as truth, righteousness, faith, and salvation. By embodying these principles, we fortify ourselves against the potential pitfalls associated with the mark of the beast, whether it manifests metaphorically or in ways yet unseen. The power of redemption. While discussions surrounding the Antichrist and the mark of the beast may evoke a sense of foreboding, it is crucial to remember the message of redemption inherent in many religious teachings. The journey toward enlightenment and spiritual awakening allows for the possibility of redemption and transformation. 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 offers a path to redemption through humility and repentance. If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin, and will heal their sin, and will heal their land. The year 2024 holds the potential for a profound revelation, one that demands our attention and introspection. The mark of the beast, whether a symbol of technological encroachment or a more literal manifestation, serves as a reminder to stay vigilant and grounded in our faith and principles. As we cross the uncertainties of the future, let us draw strength from ancient wisdom, foster understanding, and face the challenges ahead with steadfast resolve. The time to awaken is now, for in our awakening, we find the power to shape a future grounded in truth, righteousness, and unwavering faith. <laughs>